Good morning, children. My name is Emma Jane and I am Jitterbugs. Now today we're on lesson plan number two. So the things that we're gonna need before we start the class are gonna be our instruments. So if you've got them now, gonna get them out and get them ready for the end of the class. If not, stop the video and go and get your instruments and then have them ready for yourselves. Now then, as I say, we're on lesson plan number two. Now today, I thought it would be really nice if I changed direction. So instead of seeing my blank wall, can you see what's outside there? Look, that's my garden, isn't it? Can you see? It's nice, isn't it? I thought if, hopefully, as long as the sun doesn't shine too much, then we can be able to sing like this. So the first thing we're going to do is get ready to do our good morning song. Now, it's good morning for me at the moment, but if you're watching this in the afternoon, you can sing good afternoon. And if you're watching it at bedtime, you can sing good morning or good afternoon. I really don't mind. So we're going to hold up both of our hands like this. We're going to do a nice circle side to side. Are you ready? Here we go. Good morning, good morning, everybody sing our song, good morning, good morning to you. Very good. Right, my lovelies, we're going to start off with some exercises straight away. And the first song we're going to go for is head, shoulders, knees and toes. Now, to do head, shoulders, knees and toes, we can't sit down. So everybody stand up. I'm going to go and stand over there so you can watch what I'm doing. Are you ready now? I want you to join in and sing along with me. Let's play that music. Are you ready? We'll have to do it all over again. Now, children, let's have a little think because, do you know, I fancy a song now where I'm going to hold up my hands like this and just twinkle them fingers. Are you ready? Let's go for a twinkle, twinkle. Ready? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Fingers up. Above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Yay! Now then, I'm going to slip my hand in a glove now for the next one. Now then, if you watch Jitterbugs regularly, if you come to my classes, you'll know this one straight away. <gasps> Oh, now can you remember this one from last week? If you look, can you see? I've got one, two, three, four, five men. Now, can you remember the name that we called them last time? They're called spacemen, aren't they? So the actions we're going to do for this one, my lovelies, is we're going to hold up all five fingers. We're going to go side to side like a nice wave. And then we're going to stretch out our arm oh, in a big circle. Should we do that again? It's quite nice. Oh, and then for the whooshing, I'm going to point one man at a time and I'm going to hold him down as long as I can. 
I'm gonna find the biggest, loudest voice in my tummy and listen to the noise I make when I count. Are you ready? One, two, three, whoosh! Did you hear that? It was lovely and loud, wasn't it? Right, so let's all try together, ready? So one finger down, hold it down nice and low. Are you ready? One, two, three, whoosh! Good. Right, so hold up all five fingers and a wave start. And remember, oh, let's really make use of those bodies. Right, so five fingers up. Let's get those waving arms. Are you ready? Here we go. Let's go side to side. Bubbles, ready? Well, it looks nice having the garden behind me. Doesn't it ever change? I like it. <laughs> ready? Here we go. Five little men. Four to go. Four little men in a flying saucer flew around the earth one day. They looked left and right, but they didn't like the sight, so one man flew away. Whoosh! Another one down. Three men left. Three little men in a flying saucer flew around the earth one day. They looked left and right, but they didn't like the sight, so one man flew away. man our biggest wish one little man in a flying saucer flew around the earth one day he looked left and right but he didn't like the sight so then he flew away Whoosh! yay that was lovely right my little ones now then because i've got something to show you now let's have a look see if you know what it is because I've got my white case with me. I'm just gonna turn this around just very slightly just because of the sun. Now then, can you see? It's a white case and it's got lots and lots of spots on it. But can you see what color the spots are? Are they blue? No. Are they yellow? No. They're red, aren't they? And it's got a little red tag there. But if I turn it around, in beautiful gold writing, it says, my favorite things. Now then, inside my favorite things, it's filled up with lots of baby animals. So I'll give you a little sneaky peek. Are you ready? Let's have a look. Oh, can you see one of them in there? Look. Let's have a little look what we've got. So we've got, oh, what animal is this? Can you see if I slip up my fingers? It's a frog, isn't it? And what does a frog say? Ribbit, ribbit. And they jump up and down, don't they? Let's have a look, because this one, oh, what animal is this? Can you see? It's a little sheep, a little white sheep. And what does a sheep say, children? Bah, bah. Good. Let's have a look at this one. I bet you know what this animal is. Mm -mm -mm. It's black and a white, and the answer, the noise it makes is moo. What animal is it? Can you see? It's a cow. Ooh. Let's have a little look here because, oh, now this is a nice one. Now, do you know, a few years ago, I used to keep these in my garden, but they're actually quite naughty because they eat everything, including all of your plants. Let's have a look. What is it? What is it? It's a chicken. What does the chicken say? Are you ready? So I'm going to choose three animals from my case. I think I'll have the cow to stop, and the cow says, ooh. Then I think I'm gonna go for this one. But what animal is this one? I didn't show you this one. <gasps> oh, it's brown. Can you see? And it says, nay. Can you say that together? Nay. So we've got a cow and a horse. And I think we'll go for one more. Let's have a little look. Let's go for the sheep, shall we? And what does the sheep say? Can you remember? <coughs> bah, bah. Now let's have got the cow, the horse, and the sheep. So let's go for old MacDonald. Are you ready? Here we go. 
Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O. Ready? With a moo moo here and a moo moo there. Here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo moo. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Next one. And on that farm he had a horse, E-I-E-I-O. Ready? With a nay nay here and a nay nay there. Here a nay, there a nay, everywhere a nay nay. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Last one. And on that farm he had a sheep. E-I-E-I-O, ready? With a bar bar here and a bar bar there. Here a bar, there a bar, everywhere a bar bar. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. If you manage all of those noises, give yourself a jolly big clap. Yay! <laughs> Can you see who that is? Oh, who's that? That's my little dog. Luna, come Luna. Do you want to come and see the children? Hang on, I'll grab her for you. Oh, oh look! It's a little doggy, look! Can you see her? This is my little dog and her name is Luna. Luna, say hello to the children. Hello, hello. Right, you can go and play. Mummy's working. Now, children, can you for me hold up your hands like this? Get your hands and give them a big slap. And rub as fast as you can. And then hold up all of the fingers on one of your hands. Now then, shall we count my fingers together? Are you ready? One, two, three, four, and one more makes five. Now then, these aren't gonna be five fingers because I'm gonna slip my hand in another glove puppet. But can you see what animals, ow, what are these? What are these? I'll tell you the noise they make, shall I? They say, quack, quack, quack. What are they? Are they chicks? No. They're ducklings, aren't they? Look. And if you look, there's one, two, three, four, five ducklings. And each duckling has got two legs. So if there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's five ducklings and they've got 10 legs. But these are just the baby ducklings. So where's their mummy? What we're gonna do for this bit is hold up our other hand like this and watch, see what I'm doing with my hand? And I'm gonna say, quack, quack, quack. Can you make that noise? Quack, quack, quack. So I've got my babies and my quack, quack, quack. So of course I'm gonna need a mummy duck, aren't I? And look, here she is. Oh, here she is. Oh look. Could do with cutting her nose there. It's got a little bit long, isn't it? So we're going to go swimming with our babies. And to do swimming, we're going to hold up our hand and just come towards me like this. Oh, that's a nice motion. And then with your mummy duck, hold up your hand and quack, 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 quack. Good job. Right, let's get those babies up. And then we're going to go swim with our mummies. Are you ready? Babies up first. Swimming arms at the ready, darlings. Here we go. Five little ducks went swimming one day Over the pond and far away Mama duck said quack, 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 quack But only four little ducks came back So I'm holding one baby down, four to go Four little ducks went swimming one day Over the pond and far away Mama duck said quack, 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 quack But only three little ducks came back So another baby down Three more left. Three little ducks went swimming one day over the pond and far away. Mama duck said quack, 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 but only two little ducks came back. So I've got last two babies to send. Here we go. Two little ducks went swimming one day over the pond and far away. Mama duck said quack, 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 but only one little duck came back. Now we're gonna send the last baby, we're call five. One little duck went swimming one day over the pond and far away. Mama duck said quack, 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 quack. Where's all your babies? Five little ducks came swimming right back. Yay! Excellent.
excellent job. You guys are doing so well. Now then, I've got someone to show you. But before I get them out, I want to see if you can guess who it is. Now, the person I've got to show you, he's about, ooh, I'll say about this tall. He's white and he's fluffy and he's very, very naughty. Do you know who it is? Let's have a look. Because I know he's around here somewhere. I'm not actually sure where he is, really. Let me know if you can all... Oh! When did Big Ted get there? Big Ted, are you going to come out and play nicely with the children today? <gasps> He's so naughty. Right, you know what to do. We're going to count to three, and in our loudest voices, I want to hear you say, Come on, Big Ted. Are you ready? One, two, three. Come on, Big Ted. Here he is. Hi, Big Ted. Can you wave hello to the beer children for me, Big Ted? Hello. Can you blow him a little kiss? Oh, Big Ted, you're such a flirter. Now, children, what we're going to do is we're going to watch what Big Ted does first of all, and then we'll all stand up together and have a go ourselves. Are you ready? You ready, Big Ted? Good job. Right, here we go. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch your nose. <gasps> oh, Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch your toes. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. All the way down, Big Ted. Oh, teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Woohoo! Teddy bear, teddy bear, climb the stairs. Lift your feet. Teddy bear, teddy bear, say your prayers. Hands together. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn off the light. Teddy bear, teddy bear, say good night. Oh, say bye to Big Ted. Bye. Right, my lovely ones. Now then, for the next song, this is quite tricky. So what we need to do is we're going to use both of our hands, but to make sure they're ready, can you hold up your hands like this to start and give all your fingers a nice big stretch like this. Now then, what we're going to use, we're going to use some fingers on each side. So can you hold up one, two fingers like this, and then we're going to glue them together. Give them a little wiggle and look, can you do that? It's quite tricky. And say, hello, Peter. And then we're going to need a little friend for Peter. So we're going to hold up on the other side. One, two fingers, glue them together. Give them a little wiggle and say, hello, Paul. Now then, I've got two little dicky butts. I've got a red one here, which is called Peter. I'm going to put Peter on one side. And then I've got a blue and orange and white one here. And his name is Paul. So what we're going to do for this is we're going to do some dancing together, children. Now, it's always nice to move your bodies rather than just sitting still. So what I'd like you to do is just copy the actions that I do. So we're going to go side to side. Pretend we're doing this on a lovely hot beach. Are you ready? Here we go. Oh, yes. Woohoo! Get dancing arms. Oh, that looks lovely. Well done. And get ready, we're going to hide our hands behind our back. Watch what I do, here we go. Hide your hands. Two little dicky birds sitting on a wall, ready? One name Peter, one name Paul. Fly away Peter, fly away Paul. Come back Peter, come back Paul. Get your dancing hands, oh yes. Oh, it feels so like good dancing together children. Get ready because we're going to hide our hands and we're going to sing it one more time. Are you ready? Here we go. Two little dicky birds sitting on the wall. One name Peter, one name Paul. Fly away Peter, fly away Paul. Come back Peter, come back Paul. Woo! Lovely dancing children. Well done. Right. Now then, I've got one more friend to show you today. Now, I showed you this in the last class, so I'm going to see if how good your memory is and see if you can remember the name of this toy. Are you ready? Let's have a look, because <coughs> uh, it's that time of day. Now then, this is my friend, and his name is Jack. 
And because he lives in a box, we call him a jack-in-the-box. Now then, we talked about this one last week, but see if you can remember. What animal is on the front of the box, children? It's a dog, isn't it? And look, he's wearing a lovely blue coat. He's got a red hat and scarf. But what colour is his car? Can you see? It's green, isn't it? Now, what noise does a dog say, children? Woof, woof, woof! Woof, woof, woof! And you just saw my little dog, Luna, didn't you? Now then, this is a big animal. And he's funny because he's riding a red train. And he's got two orange wheels, a yellow bumper, a blue front, and a purple funnel. What does an elephant say, children? Do that with our arm for our trunk, ready? <laughs> on this side, lots of you have one of these in your bedroom and it's called a uh, teddy bear. And look, he's got his party hat on and he's got some blocks. Should we count the blocks? Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he's got seven building blocks. And then if I turn the box to the very last side, children, can you see what this is? <laughs> it's a monkey. And look, he's very funny because he's wearing an orange hat. Oh, it's a yellow hat really inside. It's a yellow hat. And look, he's got a little bow tie around his neck and it's red, isn't it? Now, what does the monkey say, children? Put your arms up. Are you ready? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Good. Right. Now, before I get Jack out to play, we must make sure we're being really, shh, really, shh, quiet. Are you ready? Here we go. Who's in here? He's coming to see you. Ready? I told you his hat was yellow, look. And there's his red bow tie. Now then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold Jack's arms, press down his head, and then shut the lid. And then we're gonna go one more time. Are you ready? Shh. Are you ready? Here we go. Who's in here? He's coming to see you. Ready? I'm going to put Jack here so he can watch. But what we're going to do is get ready for our jumping legs. Now, this is a great exercise for you children to join in. So I'd like you to stand up on your feet. Make sure you've got lots of room around you so you can get some jumping legs ready. I'm just going to slightly move my camera a little bit. Right, so stand up on your feet. Oh, get me shoe off. And then we're just going to bend our knees so we're not actually sitting on the floor, but we're just squatting on our toes. So I'm going to move myself sideways so you can see. So I'm going to bend down and just squat on my toes. Are you ready? Right, here we go. A uh, jack-in-the-box jumps up like this. Arms out. He makes me laugh when he wobbles his head. I gently push him down again, saying, jack-in-the-box, you must go to bed. Very well done if you manage that. But there is a slightly tricky jump. Now then, I'd love to see if you can do this one with me. So again, bend down. Crouch down and then watch what I do with my legs. Are you ready? One, two, three, jump and open. Did you see the difference? So I opened up my arms and my legs at the same time. Are you ready? Let's practice together. One, two, three, jump. Lovely. Right, let's put it together with the song and then we can all go together. Are you ready? Bend down. Let's sing and jump. Remember, legs nice and wide. Here we go. A jack-in-the-box jumps up like this. He makes me laugh when he wobbles his head. I gently push him down again, saying, jack-in-the-box, you must go to bed. Very good if you manage all of those jumps, because they're very tricky. Now, children, we're going to get ready for row your boat. Now, what I'd like to do is, if you've got your grown-up with you, can you hold on to your grown-up's hand? If you've got a brother or a sister, you can do it with your brother or sister. I'm actually here on my own. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get one of my teddy bears and I'm going to use... Who's that? 
It's Humpty Dumpty again, isn't it? So let's go for Humpty Dumpty. So what you want to do is you want to look at your partner, hold your partner's hands. Now I'm going to hold a hold of Humpty Dumpty because he's quite little and I've got big hands. And we're going to do four verses. So this is going to be number one of four. Here we go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Sideways, rock, rock, rock your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Ah! And this one, we're going to hold our partner's hand really tight because they're going to go super fast. Are you ready? Watch this. Row, row, row your boat gently down the river. If you see a polar bear, don't forget to shiver. Brrr. Now then, did we do last week? I've got a feeling we did lions last week. So this week we're going to go for snakes. Now to make a snake, we're going to put our hands together like this and watch the position I do, really. Are you ready? But we're going to go really slowly for this one. Here we go. Row, row, row your boat gently round the lake. If you hear a hissing sound, it's probably a snake. Fingers. Good, snake head. Now, children, it's that time of the morning where I'm going to get my puppets out to sing with. So... Um, let's have a little look at some of my puppets, shall we? I've got a great big box. Can you see that big box there? <gasps> Ooh, now then, I'm going to put my hand in and just have a little rummage. What should we go for? Let's have a little look. What's this one? Oh, oh, it's a turtle. Now then, let's have a little look at the turtle, shall we? So, for a turtle, I think what we'll do is we'll go for, I had a little turtle. Are you ready? So we're going to have our hands up like this. And then we're going to go side to side. Now, we need to do some swimming arms for this one, children. So for this, I'm going to hold up my arms like this. Oh, because that's how I go swimming. Some people do this. And some people just do this. But I do this. Are you ready? So let's hold up our hands. Now, take note of this puppet because we're actually going to sing this one in lesson plan number four. So it's not going to be this video. It's going to be the next video that follows this one. So watch this. Here we go. I had a little turtle, his name was Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water, he ate up all the soap. He had a funny feeling sitting in his throat and it went bubble, 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 pop. That's a lovely one. Now, there's a few versions of that song, so don't worry if you know a slightly different version because we all sing it slightly different sometimes, don't we? Now then, let's have a little look because I'm going to give you... Oh, let's have a look. Now, I showed you this one in my favourite things. It's a brown animal, and the noise it makes is... Nay! Make right, that together. Nay! Now, for this one, you can either, children, sit on your grown-ups' laps and pretend that they're the horse and you're the rider. Or you can just do what I'm going to do and pretend that you're sitting on your, on your own knees and then you're holding on to your reins. Ready? So we're going to bounce up and down like this. Here we go. Horsey, horsey, don't you stop. Just let your feet go clippity-clop. Your towel goes swish and your wheels go round. Giddy up, we're homeward bound. Second best, horsey, horsey on your way. We've done the journey many a day. Your towel goes swish and your wheels go round. Giddy up, we're homeward bound. That is a good one, isn't it? Right, now then, there's a puppet in there that I know, and I know you know, is my favourite puppet. Now then, I had to sing this one every time because if I don't use him, do you know what happens? I hear a little noise, and the little noise is a little bit of a... <laughs> do you know who it is? <clears throat> Introducing everybody, my favourite puppet, it is Mr Bamboo. Say hello, Mr Bamboo. Hello, children. 
Now, children, I have to sing Mr. Bamboo because otherwise, do you know what happens? He cries, don't you, Mr. Bamboo? You do, don't you? And if I don't sing him because I love him so much, I don't want to make him sad because he's my favourite puppet. So what we're going to do is we're going to go for a whisper to start. Thank you, I'm your favourite mummy. Oh, that is so lovely, isn't it, children? Yes, it is. We're going to go for a whisper to start. Shh. And then what I want you to do is hold up your hand and reach as high as you can like this. And then high as you can the other way. Are you ready? Here we go. Bamboo and the little green frog one day. Bamboo and the little green frog. Bamboo and the little green frog one day. And his friends went bamboo too. Ready for your hands. But we know frogs go. Cha la 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 la. Cha la 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 la. Cha la 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 la. We know frogs go. Cha la 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 la. They don't go bamboo are you happy mr bamboo that i sung you to all the children again yes i should hope you are mr bamboo now then let's have a think of another puppet we could do now then there was a little puppet that we did let's have a think this is a tricky animal now this animal doesn't live in this country it lives a really long way away in a hot country and it was called australia now then, can you see what animal this is? It's a brown animal. He's got white on the inside of his ears, but not on the outside, because they're both brown. White on the inside of his ears. And if I open up his arms, he's got a big tummy. If you look, he uses his tail, because what he does is he bounces up and down like this. And that's how he gets around. He doesn't walk, he bounces. And he uses his tail so that he can bounce even higher like this. And sometimes with a kangaroo, they have a big pouch on their tummy and then inside there is where they keep their babies. They do, they do, don't you? But this is obviously a boy puppy, a boy kangaroo. Are you a boy kangaroo? Yes, okay, okay. So what we're gonna do for this one is we're gonna sing a song called Down by the River Where Nobody Goes. Are you ready? Are you ready, Mr. Kangaroo? Now, children, if you don't know this one, all you need to do is this. Shoulder, 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 shoulder. You do that? Shoulder, 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 shoulder. Right, watch what I do. Here we go. Down by the river where nobody goes, there stood kangaroo washing his clothes with a rubber dub here and a rubber dub there. There stood the kangaroo washing his clothes shoulders. Aha, uh aha, -huh. uh -huh. a boogie woogie woogie, aha, uh aha. -huh. Uh -huh. A boogie woogie woogie, uh huh, uh huh. A boogie woogie woogie, there stood the kangaroo washing his clothes. How exciting! Right, let's have a look. So, I think another puppet, another puppet. What should we go for? Can you see? Can you see? Oh, let's put my hand in again, shall I? Let's put my hand in again. Let's go for. Uh, oh, look at this one. Look. It's a lovely colour. And can you remember when I showed you my jack-in-the-box and I told you that the circle was my favourite colour? And this is it. It's purple, isn't it? Can you see? Purple. And do you know what this is? This is a dinosaur. And his name is Barney. Can you say that? Barney. Now, the song I'm going to do for this one is so lovely. I always sing it to all my baby class. But big ones, what I want you to do is go up to your grown-up. I want you to look at one another like this. And I want you to get ready to give your grown-up a nice big kiss and a cuddle. Oh, Barney, that is lovely. Because we're going to sing, I love you, you love me. Are you ready? Here we go. I love you, you love me. We're a happy family with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Won't you say you love me too? Best friends, I love you, you love me. We're best friends like friends should be. With a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Won't you say you love me too? Oh, that was nice, eh? Right, I think one more, one more, one more. Now then. I don't mind if we sing the same song like last week and then we did one for this week as well. 
because it gives you a chance to realise all the names of all the songs. And sometimes, if you don't know something, if you hear it more than once, then it becomes into your head. And that's how you remember a song, isn't it? So, I'm going to give you a test. Now, I'm sure I tested you on this one last video. Let's have a look. Woo! Can you see the name of this? Can you see what animal it is, I should say, first of all? Can you remember the name of this one? Now, it was a tricky one, wasn't it? Now, again, this animal is not in this country either. I do believe, mm, testing a madrona, but I think I would say maybe America. Growing up, you can quiz me on that. I really don't know. I'm not sure. So, it's a grey animal. It's lovely and fluffy. Look, and he's got one, two, three, four legs. He's got a white face. And look, he's got a big black line running over it. And he's a funny little animal because look, if you look really carefully, look, he's got a little turned up nose. Can you see? And then his best feature is his big tail, isn't it? Can you see, look? So it's a big white tail and it's got stripes on it, hasn't it? Do you remember the name of this animal, children? It's called a raccoon, isn't it? Right, are you ready? Here we go. I'm a little raccoon prowling around. I hunt for food without a sound. A mask on my face and a bushy tail. Let's see if you spot my trowel. Very nice if you remember that. That's fantastic, children. Right, now then, children. This is very important. You're gonna need another person in the room with you because it's time for Sleepy Bunnies! So, I've got Sleepy Bunny right here ready. Now, children, if you are on your own in the room, can you go and ask one of your grown-ups or a brother and sister to come with you because they're gonna help me do some tickling. So what we're gonna do is, I'd like you guys to lie on the floor. And because I'm not there to do the tickling today with Mr. Rabbit, what I want you to do is get your groin up to give you a little tickle like this. Oh, that is nice. Now then, children, you pretend to be asleep and your grown-ups are going to give you a little tickle. Now, because I'm here on my own today, well, apart from Luna, I'm going to tickle my bunny rabbit. Is that okay, bunny? Oh, it's been a bit funny, isn't he? Look, oh, he's done a little bit of a dance for you. Now, children, as soon as I clap my hands... I want you to jump up on your feet with me and we're going to jump around like your little bunnies. Are you ready? So everybody lie down to start. Shh, you're sleeping. Are you ready? Here we go. See the little bunny sleeping till it's nearly noon. Shall we try and wake them with a merry tune oh so still are they ill wake up soon Shh. are you ready are you steady let's go exercising with you bubbers keeps me so busy now then oh she's got a bit of a funny hair today hasn't she a bit funny hair today right now can you remember at the beginning of class i said to you you're going to need something remember i said stop the video if you haven't got it it was your musical instruments wasn't it so let's have a little look now then i've got some instruments here and some of them you might not have so i'm going to tell you all about these instruments so <clears throat> now then I've got all my instruments today in a little yellow box. Remember I told you I've been singing outside in my garden, haven't I? So I've just done a session, so I've already got my box filled up. So, <clears throat> I've got today... Oh, look, it's like a bit like a fox. Should we call it a fox? But it's actually a xylophone. Look, it's a lovely colour. It's a bit like a piano, isn't it, children? So I've got a xylophone. And what's this noisy one? Can you remember the name of this one? No, it's not my most noisiest one. I've got a big blue one, which is very noisy. This is called a tambourine. And can you see what shape it is? It's a circle, isn't it? So I've got my tambourine. Oh, you all know what this one is. So noisy. Because I find it really close so it can hide my face behind it. Oh, hey, oh, hey, oh. 
Is that right? It's got like, oh, 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 there I am. So I've got my shaker. What's this? Woo. Now this is a nice one, but this is quite a grown up instrument, this one. And if you look, the name of the instrument is actually the shape it is. And it's called a triangle. If you listen to the noise of a triangle. That's a good one. It's like a clock, isn't it? We won't do 12 o'clock, because that's quite long. Right, and oh, I bet you all know this one. Oh, it's a drum. Now then, children, don't worry about what your mum say, because this is actually the best one, because it's the noisiest one, isn't it? And if I find, if I hit it on certain places on there, it makes different noises, doesn't it? But if you haven't got a drum or any of these instruments, what you could do is get some things from home and make some instruments. So you could use a saucepan and maybe a wooden spoon, and that could be a drum. Or if you've got a bottle, you could put some rice inside it, pop the lid back on, and that could be your shaker, and you can use that instead of a shaker. Let's have a look. What's this one? Oh, now parents don't really like these ones either, children. <coughs> flat lids with a little handle on and there's symbols aren't they and the last one I've got is I'm not going to show you can you guess what it is can you hear that noise it's a bell and look it's a multi-colour one but you know this is my favourite set of bells children and although I've already got some missing I just don't have the heart to throw it away. Because I've had it such a long time at Jitterbug, I'm gonna try and keep it as long as possible. But this is the one that I don't let you play with because they might be a little bit wobbly, so it's just for a Jane food. So the first thing we're gonna need is either some bells. If you don't have your bells, just grab hold of your shaker. Any shape you've got, I've also got a green one in here. Look, green one, which is a bit like a bird, isn't it? I might use the green one today because I think I used the pink one last week, didn't I? So I'm gonna got my green shaker in one hand, and I've got my bells in the other hand. So I'm gonna use both, because I'm feeling a bit greedy. I don't care. Right, we're gonna start with our alphabet, because it's make sure we're always clever, so we've always got to know our letters. Are you ready? Here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABC. Next time, won't you sing with me? Yay! Now this time, I'm just going to use my green shaker. In fact, I think it's like a bit of a parrot shaker. So it was orange, green, and blue. So I'm going to use this because oh, it also matches my plant, doesn't it? Can you see it still? Can you see it? Now we're going to go for our days of the week, just so that we are so clever. So when you go to school and when you go to nursery, you can sing all these songs to your teachers and they'll think that you are so clever. Are you ready? Here we go. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week, boom, boom. Days of the week, boom, boom. Days of the week, days of the week. Days of the week, boom, boom, excellent. Right, now this time I'm going to use not one, I'm going to use two shakers because I'm feeling a bit greedy. Right, I'm going to hold one in one hand like this and then I'm going to put in my fingers. Can you see like this? I'm going to hold on like this. So let's go for one, two, three, four, five. So we've got a bit of counting in. So we've done the days of the week, we've learned our letters and we're going to count to ten because that means we are super, super, super clever. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let him go again. Why did you let him go? Because he bit my finger so. Which finger did he bite? This little finger on my right. Yay! Now then... 
we're going to get ready. So we need all of our instruments out in front of us, darlings, because we're going to get ready now to play Music Man. Now, this is going to be our last instrument time. So get them all ready in front of you so you can pick them up really, really quickly. Are you ready? So what's going to happen is I'm going to sing you the question. And when I stop singing, I'd like you to shout out, what do you play? Are you ready? Should we play it together? What do you play? And then I'm just going to hold up an instrument and I'd like you to play it if you've got it and play it as loud as you can. Are you ready? <coughs> Here we go. I am the music man. I come from far away and I can play. What do you play? Let's start with a triangle. Ready? Try a, try a triangle. Triangle, triangle. Try a, try a triangle. Try a triangle. I am the music man. I come from far away and I can play. What do you play? Let's play our drums. Ready, rams? A drum, 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 drum. I am the music man. I come from far away and I can play. What do you play? Let's play the cymbals. Hey! Crashy, 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 crash, crashy, crash, crashy, crash, crashy, 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 crash, crashy, crashy, crash. I am the music man. I come from far away and I can play. Let's play the tambourine. Hey! Tambour, tambour, tambourine. Tambourine, tambourine, tambour, tambour, tambourine, tambour, tambourine. I am the music man. I come from far away and I can play. What do you play? Let's play our xylophone. Ready? Xyla, xyla, xylophone, 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 xyla, xyla, xylophone. Xyla, xyla, phone. Last one. I am the music man. I come from far away and I can play. What do you play? Right, grab as many things as you can. So I'm going to have two shakers. I've got some bells. I've got my drum, my tambourine. I'm going to hold on to my drum in my knees. Put my stick in my hand. Are you ready? Grab as many as you can. Grab as many as you can. Are you ready? Let's play everything. Really Every, every, everything, 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 everything. Yay! We did it! Oh, God, that was hard work, children, bringing all them instruments, wasn't it? Now then, before I go, we've got one last exercise time. Now, I know we're running a little bit over, but do you know what? You bought the video, it doesn't matter, does it? You can have as long as you like, I don't care. So, what we're gonna do is get ready for Dingle Dangle Scarecrow. So I'd like you to stand up on your feet. Now remember, this is our very, very, very last exercise time, so let's make it count. Are you ready? Let me just move my camera a little bit. Are you ready? Are you steady? I wanna see everyone jumping, everyone dancing. Here we go. Quick, 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 quick. a great big clap oh that was lovely wasn't it 
Now then, I'm just trying to rack my brain because can you remember I was telling you that I always do a different goodbye song every time? So I try to ask all my children in class what song they like the best and hope someone to choose their goodbye song. Now, I can't remember because it literally was a whole week ago that I recorded the first video. So I think it was the Monster Wave. I've got a feeling it was. I've got a feeling it's the Monster Wave. So this week, I think we should do a butterfly. So now to make a butterfly, I'm going to hold out our hands like this. You see I've got our thumbs here. I'm going to give them a little cuddle like that. And then can you flutter your fingers like this? Whoa. Whoa. And look, I've got a butterfly on my hand. Can you see that? Let's have a look. Can you see my butterflies? Ooh, it's a good one for me, isn't it? So let's flutter our butterflies. Are you ready? Here we go. Goodbye, goodbye, everybody wave goodbye, goodbye, goodbye to you. Give yourselves a jolly big clap, yay! <laughs> My lovelies, I have had such a great time filming these for you. I hope that you enjoy my videos. And as I say, this is gonna be number one and two on one video, and then I'm gonna do number three and four. So I hope you enjoy them. Tell your mummies and daddies if you like them, and then hopefully you'll have the whole set. Mwah! I can't wait to see you in person. And if I can't see you in person, have a good fun watching the videos. See you later. Bye.